Well, they call it the new bail reform law. It's set to take effect in January, on the 1st of January. Supporters say it's going to help make the system fairer for defendants not yet convicted, letting them out on bail, letting them know early on what evidence and witnesses there are against them. But district attorneys and police across New York are sounding the alarm, saying this new law could put victims and witnesses at risk. News Force Chief Investigative Reporter Jonathan Dietz wades into this dispute. This witness agreed to testify against drug dealing gang members in Westchester. We'll call him John. For over a year, the Westchester DA has moved John to hotels to try to protect him. It was really serious for me. Too much threats. Under the new bail law, prosecutors say suspects in many drug related gang cases will be released while they await trial. And the names of witnesses must be shared with the defense within two weeks. They will need some more protection. Under current bail laws, prosecutors have months to turn over the names of witnesses like John to the defense. But soon it's just 15 days and witnesses and drug suspects will be on the same streets, known to one another. It's hard enough to get them uh, to, to be witnesses now. It's going to make it even more difficult uh, with the new legislation. While the Westchester DA supports some of the reforms, he is worried. A person is, is shot right on the street, 15 people there, and everyone says they didn't see anything. Um, and we know what it's about. The system doesn't work without their cooperation. Deputy DA Stephen Vandervelden has 30 years trying cases and is now in charge of trying to protect victims and witnesses. 90% or more of individuals that are charged with crimes will be out on the streets. That creates a chilling effect. The deputy DA says that now, even with defendants behind bars, witnesses have been targeted. He says they recently stopped one gang from killing a witness, a plot that was hatched from behind bars. And it's not just witnesses who need protection, it's often their relatives too. You're speaking about multiple hotel rooms. You're talking about trying to get somebody out of a lease and moving them to another location where they could start a new lease. You're talking about social services getting involved. I think it's a false choice. Defense lawyers say the reforms were needed because too many defendants, many of them minorities, were getting held behind bars pre-trial. And that pre-trial detention was leading many to take plea deals, with the defense never knowing what evidence or witnesses might really exist. There is a real cost to the lack of transparency and the injustice that our discovery laws have uh, created over the last uh, few decades. Um, people are sitting in jail who shouldn't be there. And experts point to other states like Texas, which put in similar bail and discovery reforms, which they say did not lead to increased threats to witnesses or victims. Their systems continue to work. If your choice is I'm going to spend a year at Rikers Island until I get my chance to prove my innocence or I could plead guilty today and go home, that is an unfair question. State Senator Michael Giannaris helped lead the reform battle. He says in addition to eliminating many bail requirements, giving early notice to the defense about witnesses is fair and long overdue. Now, the prosecutors will tell you they use that window uh, where the allegation is anonymous to elicit a guilty plea from a defendant, but that is inherently unfair. They are then admitting to manipulating the system uh, unfairly against someone who's accused of a crime. But for witnesses like John, he fears the new law may not help someone like him, a witness who had time to remain anonymous, all to try to make his community safer. I start to do things, get my responsibility right, you know. My course is doing great. Jonathan Deanst, News 4.